pure white kitchen. The kitchen had beautiful white cabinets, beautiful white granite, beautiful uh, white um, uh, floors. And she was in there her, uh, busy cooking, making a meal for the guests. All the people that had invested into the dinar and to the stock market. And and uh, and all of a sudden she was she had a tray full of food to go and give the people. And I'll tell you this part of it. I was dead in the dream. They could not see me. Okay? And the angel told me, he said, you have to die to self to be able to hear what is coming. If you're not dead to self, you can't hear it. And he said, you're dead. So you, they cannot hear you because they don't have ears to hear. So you have to be still because until they are dead, they won't be able to hear it. So he put his hand on my lips and he said, Shh, hush now, hush now. They don't, they're not dead to self. They don't hear it. He that has ears to hear what the spirit is saying, they'll hear it, but they don't hear it. So he put his hands on my lips. He said, Shh, hush now, hush now. So I said, but I got to warn them what's coming. I got to warn them what's coming, but they did not hear. The people were all standing on the rug. And all of a sudden, that rug was ripped out from underneath their feet. And they were standing and watching the TV. And at the time, I was trying to yell. I was yelling with all I had, trying to tell attention to the hollyberry bushes. And now, a lot of times when the Lord talks to me, he gives me codes. Okay? And it's for me to intercede for it. So it, it, it's, it, it's, it, it's symbolism. So the angel told me, and he pointed to the hollyberry tree, the hollyberry bush. And he said, look at the berries. The angel said, look at the berries. And the berries were, were red. And he said, pay attention to the hollyberry bush. Watch this berry bush. It's a very key sign for you. The angel told me this, okay? And the berries were turning red. And he said, watch when the berries turn red for when the economy crashes. The economy will crash when the berries are turning red. And so I saw snow falling down, falling down. The snow was coming down. And the angel told me, look at the snow. And I saw the snow coming. I saw snow on the ground. And, there was, and, and he said, pay attention to the snow. So then I went inside and all my friends that I had told about the dinar, okay, were celebrating the dinar re revalue. Uh, a reinstatement back to where it was. Okay. And they were all rejoicing over uh, their, their, their prophetic gain, their gains from the, the blessing. And they were standing on a Persian rug. Okay. And they were, there was a, there was, there was uh, a big reef for a Christmas reef on the wall in the house. And there was a, um, there was a, a, uh, uh, this thick Persian rug, I told you that. And they're, they're all standing on a Persian rug. And the rug, uh, oh, and a massive TV was on the wall. And on the wall, the new, it was on the news. It was like a uh, uh, Fox News. And I seen it. And all of a sudden, oh, and then, uh, I, I, I can't skip around. I can, I can tell you this. My wife was in the kitchen. And the kitchen was pure white. And we were serving the people. We were serving hear what the spirit of the Lord was saying because because I because they weren't dead. I was yelling at them and there was a screen on, on the wall, the TV, and all of a sudden the Dow said, the Dow Jones has dropped today and it was thousands of points in just in a matter of days. Like, I don't know if it was a day or an hour or whatever, but it was just, it, I saw the number over, 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 like the largest drop in the history of the United States had happened that fast. And everybody that was standing on that Persian rug had lost everything. And they started weeping and started crying out, Oh God, we lost everything. And they were so upset because they weren't hearing him. They had had the initial investment from the dinar and the dinar had, had gone up in value and everybody was millionaires. They were all so excited. But in a matter of moments, they had lost everything because they weren't dead. They weren't listening. I tried to write I tried to write on a copper pot a word that the angel had given me so that they could see it. I'm going to go back. So if you go back to the before the lady on there, I tried to write on a copper pot the word of this company that the Lord told me was going to be worth billions of dollars. 
And I tried to write this name that the angel gave me on this copper pot, but nobody could see it because I was trying to tell certain people what the Lord was trying to tell me uh, about the investment, about what the Lord was trying to tell them to put their money in so they didn't lose everything, okay? So I tried to write it on a copper pot that was, it had um, all kinds of little uh, indentions in it. It was, all, it was like it was, um, it was, um, messed with i don't know how to say it but it was it had dings all inside this copper pot like somebody had taken it with a hammer and they had put dings all on it but they but i but i was trying to take this massive platoon and write on the side of it and when my wife came out of that kitchen with the tray she saw and she said look at the cop at the pot trying to warn the people to look at the pot but it was too late because I, she was able to see it, and she, and whenever she spoke, they could hear her, and um, I was transparent; people couldn't see me, and so they, they, I was writing it on, it and my wife could see it when she came out of the kitchen, and she tried to warn everybody again what I was, what I was trying to warn everybody about what was coming, and I was wrote on the pot, but it was too late. If you can't donate today, don't even think about it. I know times are tough because Joe Biden has absolutely destroyed our country in so many different ways, including economic. They didn't hear. I, I tried to write it on the on, on a, uh, a Aston Martin in my driveway, and it was this blue Aston Martin written on the driveway, in the driveway, and it was cold. So I breathed on the glass, and I went, oh, and I breathed on the glass, and I wrote out the name that the angel gave me. And the angel told me, he told me, he said, I told you, they cannot hear it. They're not dead. They don't, they're not dead to self. They cannot hear it. And he put his hands on my lips and he said, shh. His eyes were the bluest sapphire blue I've ever seen. His hair was the most beautiful blonde, beautiful robe. Everything was perfect the way he looked at me. And he looked at me with a smile and he said, he, he said, I know your heart, but they don't hear it. They're not dead. They don't hear it. And he put his hands on my lips and he said, hush now, hush now. And I tried to write it on the glass. I tried to breathe it on the glass of this Aston Martin that was in the um, beautiful blue uh, uh, car in the um, driveway. And I tried to write on this to tell them about the investment, to tell them about what was coming. I tried to write it out on this. And so um, I think that's uh, before, before, all these people, this is how the, the dream started. All these people that were gray haired had big, long, white beards, big, long, white hair uh, with robes. They were all around this man with no face. He had no face at all. And he and, and I don't know who he was. I believe it was the Holy Spirit. But he was speaking to the men with the white hair. And the white hair, he was all around in the circle and he was warning them about what to invest in. And the old men with white, white beards kept saying, this will make us billionaires. This will make us worth billions. We will be worth more. We'll be able to support the kingdom with this. And they were so excited about what the man with no face was telling them. And I was just uh, growing up. I was not old. But I was jumping up as high as I could to get into the inner circle of those old men. And I said, please tell me, please tell me what's coming. Please tell me. And I was, I was, I, and, the, and the man with no face looked over and he goes, I will tell you. I will tell you. And he whispered in my ear and he told me the name. So then, I, and then, so then that's how all the rest of this came out. And the angel kept telling me, you, you, you cannot, you cannot hear until you are dead to self. You cannot hear the true things that are coming until you are until you're with him. And I warn you you all, a lot of you are 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 not even on the verge of even making it in the rapture. A lot of you are not even verge. If you die today, you you barely make it in by the skin of your teeth. I'm just being real with you. You you walk a very compromising life. You're living in sin. And I'm telling you all, you gotta you've got to get your heart right before Jesus Christ. I don't want to barely make it. Okay, I want to I want to I want to be walking with the king. I want to abide with him and him abide in me. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done. And I believe with all my heart in these last days, God will show you the secret things if you wake up and have a relationship with him. So you so this is where I'm at with what I what I was shown. The hollyberry bush, I believe with all my heart 
is during the, the, the December month into January. So, and I, and I'm telling you, it was a festive time. There was wreaths. There's like a Christmas tree in the corner. I could see things going on. And, and so when the major crash happens, it will be during the Christmas season, the holiday season. Do I believe it's this year? No, I do not. Some people might argue and say, we're right there. No, I don't believe it's this year. Because the dinar had not happened, things have not happened yet. Now, if the dinar would to, to reinstate and the things would happen with the dinar, then and, and uh, we would know that we're right there. Okay, but I had seen that the dinar had happened. Okay, in, in this in this dream. So, um, what I'm trying to tell you. So, it would be if it would happen at the beginning of the year. So it means we're a whole year of blessing on that. It's because people were excited of what had happened in their life is what I'm trying to tell you. They were all rejoicing, and but they weren't hearing for what was coming next. And so it was, they were all watching it and the snow was falling. So we know it would be a cold time of year. So there's another, this is a, there was other signs. So I've told you about the, the splitting of America with the earthquake and I saw Wall Street. I saw the, all that. But there's so many different events that the Lord will warn me about. So that's what I'm trying to tell you all. You, you can, we, I don't want to get on any rabbit trails and try to, it's just what I see. You know, I see in part, I hear in part. But these are just warnings. To be listening to him, to follow his voice, and to know his voice. Not listen to me. Don't listen to me. Listen to the Holy Ghost for you. If he if he's warning you about it, fine. If he's not, then don't listen to me. You say that guy's kooky, whatever. But if you hear the voice of the Lord for yourself, you're not going to miss it. And so you have the same Holy Ghost on the inside of you. We're all human. We're all missing. We all have a tendency we can mess up. This is what I'm trying to tell you all. Don't don't. I just try to come on here and tell you what I feel like the Holy Ghost has told me, and you know what. I, I, tr I do my best. I do my best. So. Acorns makes investing really easy. Having these um, so that just about the winter, the, the winter time. It's just important. I just thought it was important to tell you this. You know, I I won't tell you the name because the angel put my hand, his hand on my lips and told me to, to be quiet. And he wouldn't allow me to. So he told me, shut up, you know, hush, shh, be quiet. So, um, if you know what these symbolisms were with the car and the, the, uh, rug and the, the white kitchen, the, the, uh, man with no face, the things like that. If you know what the symbolism, even the pot with the tempered, tempered looking stuff, if you know what it is, comment down below. If you know what symbolisms are in dreams, I, or, or the holly berry bush and the red berries, you know, or the snow falling down, you know, there's, there's all kinds of symbolism and stuff. It may not mean exactly what it, what, you know, the, you know, everybody takes it so literal that this is what the Lord's trying to say. It could be a symbolism of something that he's trying to say, you know, instead of, um, uh, just taking it like, you know, it, like it's literal, you know, it has to be a big house with a big kitchen. Cause I, I don't live in that, but it's just, it's interesting, you know, um, the way he's, the way he talks. So, like I said, a lot of people think that we're going to have something happen this year, and um, the Lord woman said, "Brandon, they you've got you've got to you've got to come up deeper and higher in in the spirit whenever you're hearing Him." And and I'm not trying to judge anybody in their words and what the Lord's showing them. That's between them and the Lord. But as for me, that's not what I hear. The Lord 2024, there's going to be some different stuff. Now, if you see Gavin come on, 